If you're a person over 45, do you know what your lifetime risk is for Alzheimer's disease? Hmm, <laughs> I do. And it has nothing to do with genetics because my genetics aren't great for that. If you're a man over 45, your lifetime risk of dementia is one in 10. So hello to number 10 out there watching this video. And if you're a woman, it's one in five. So what in heaven's name can we do to make that a little better? Maybe put us in the not one. We want to be in the other percentage, right? <sighs> I've talked about this a lot, but I'm going to keep repeating it. You want to do all the things we know we're supposed to do. Eat right, don't drink. A lot of people don't admit that that's actually a risk factor. They're starting to talk about it more. It ups your risk of cancers. It ups your risk of dementias. I don't drink for other reasons, but that's, that's a main one right there. You want to get really good restful sleep, good REM sleep. So you want your sleep hygiene to be really good. That can look different for everybody. So I'm not making suggestions there. You want to uh, manage stress. Stress is toxic for your brain. Just don't go there if you can. Trust me, that's not modern life makes that pretty tough. And I've been married 36 years, so trust me. <laughs> Ooh hard. Uh, we want to exercise. And here's some good news about exercise. The Alzheimer's Association funded the pointer study that looked at what kinds of exercise was good for your brain. And for those of you who are not gym rats like myself, which I wasn't until I was 40, balance and stretching exercises are just as beneficial for our brain as cardio and weight training. So my suggestion, Cardio, lift some heavy weights, do some balance exercises, which you do get when you do the weights, and stretch because stretch will aid in your longevity and aging well more than anything else that I can recommend. And oh yes, then there's the eat right. Um, the Mediterranean diet, have as much variety in your plant foods. Um, so, you know, if you're making uh, minestrone soup, it's getting chilly. There's a lot of plants in it. You've got different beans, different veggies, different spices, as many variety in plant-based foods. Meat doesn't count, sorry. Dairy doesn't count either. Things that grow out of the ground, the better. And right there, you're really, you're gonna knock out aging well and you're gonna really reduce your risk of developing Alzheimer's disease.